Hey guys, it's Matt Scotch. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you in an insane cracked way to make money. So, uh, first off, where did my car go? Okay, I guess we're walking. But yeah, for this, the first thing that you're going to need to do is grab a car. You could walk there, um, I guess. But, yo, no way. It's the last video's news. Bro, come on, this is last video's news. No one needs to read about this. All right, let's go ahead and grab a car and then head down to our first stop. I'm cool. All right, let's see if we can buy our little dinghy. I don't even think this will work. All right, yeah, I wanna buy a boat. Hmm. I'm waiting. All right, here we go. Yes, I want to buy it. Oh, right. Okay, well, I'll let you know when I have a license and then I bought the boat. So, once you have that, I'll show you what to do. All right, so now that you've got a boat, um, just head over to this area in the marina, which is gonna lead you to the Big Bad River. Um, so with my boat, since I don't have any, and obviously, um, I'm broke, uh, so yeah, um, with this tiny boat, I'm gonna be going, like, three miles an hour, so I'll see you guys when I have finished getting to this spot, and I'm gonna put on a time lapse so that you can see exactly where to go, so I don't just cut there and you're like, oh, where, where do you go? So, yeah, once I get to the new area, cue the time lapse. All right, so now that you're over here, you're gonna want to talk to this guy right here, um, who's blind, um, and he'll say you're a golfy junior or something like that. And put your mind's like old Jimothy Jr. or something. Uh, so just say yes or no, it doesn't really matter. Like if I say no, just, yeah. Um, 
And then he'll say that you can do mushroom picking. So you need your book first, he'll give you that. And then he'll give you the tools right here. Um, and yeah, so you cannot eat them. So if you like, if you find any and then put them in your basket, you can't eat them as food. You have to give them to the mushroom hunter. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to sleep for the night because it's almost like 9 o'clock. Um, so I'll let you know when it is tomorrow and we have found some mushrooms or just a mushroom. Uh, so yeah. And I think he's going to go to bed. Nope. Alright, well yeah, we'll see you when we find a mushroom. Alright, so it's the next day and we have already found one. This is actually a pretty rare one. If we go to our mushroom guide, we will find the. What's it called? Violet? No. I forgot its name. It is. Ah, the blue it mushroom. So, yeah, these are pretty rare because, um, as you can see right here, they are. <clears throat> they are two stars. So, that's not that rare, but I mean, it's still pretty good. And, uh, so as you can see, like, the higher the stars, like, for example, these ones right here, the oyster mushrooms, you find these pretty common. The ones that I find a lot are the puffball mushrooms right here. Um, and since those are only one star, you only get paid, like, 50 coins for it. But for ones like the witch's cauldron mushroom, you get paid a, a lot more. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. But I figured out that, um, like, so, yeah, you'll know if it's a new mushroom by if you do this. Um, and if it's not, then you'll just pick it up. Um, and I found that uh, if you just collect pretty much every single mushroom in one go without talking to him, like here we go, we got a uh, fly angelic or angrelic. Oh, all right, my bad. Um, yeah, like we got another one. So if you just like, uh, if you look in here, if you give them to the mushroom guy, there'll be these little checks. Like for example, we've already picked up. Um, the blue whip mushroom but there's no check you have to give them to the mushroom hunter in order for the check to appear there um but like i would save up and just get a bunch and then talk to him um because i have gotten like seven to ten thousand dollars by doing it um or if you're in need of cash you can just go to him immediately because like for example i like when i said oh we'll be right back when i got the boating license I also had to get some coins because I didn't have enough for rent. Like, that would be a good time to just, like, go put in your mushrooms and then just get a little kickstart of coins so that you can have them for things. But if, you, if you're all set on money, then just go around collecting them. And if you find any, the, just hold on to them until you feel like you have a lot or all of them. And then once you give them to them, you'll make a lot of money. Now, I haven't collected all of them and give them to him because if they're new he'll give you more money um so i haven't given like all of the mushrooms all the new mushrooms to him at once um so i don't know how much it's going to come out i'd estimate about fifteen thousand, but it takes a while because even on my other save file the one that i've had since like covid i still don't have the ones I'm, the ones i'm missing are this one right here the shaggy mane even though it's like really common i'm missing a cauliflower mushroom, I think a dryad saddle, um, and then, yeah, just, yeah, those. Um, so yeah, if you just go around, like, collecting them, there'll be, like, a bunch here, like, there's another one, the chanterelle, or the, no, I don't know, angeling, my bad. Um, yeah, so if you just go around looking for them, they'll just appear, and they respawn every day, so it's pretty easy to find them. And they spawn in different areas, like you may have caught a glimpse of some of them spawn in here, like the witch's butter mushroom. They spawn up at the, at the mountain, so if you want to go that one, you're going to have to go up there. And like there's another one up here, the violet webcap one, that you can get at the top of the RV park under the apple tree. The, um, I, I got that one, but it's like the second to last one I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, so as you can see, it's not here. It's usually right here or under the apple tree at the dirt racetrack. So, yeah, just keep hunting for mushrooms, and you'll eventually get a lot. And then talk to the guy on the river, which I showed you how to get to, and then you'll eventually become rich. So, see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and comment if you want me to walk into the fire. Just kidding. So, I forgot to mention that 
if you once you get like as you saw like the you have progress things right here where you get gifts kind of like the fishing guide you also get gifts um now the fishing guide you just get a fishing rod and a painting um or a picture but with the mushrooms you get something a lot more so, or, <clears throat> let me get this into a joke uh ooh, something that packs more of a punch dynamite now the dynamite um you can use for a wide variety of things like there's a cave at the island that you need dynamite to blow up um it's kind of by the it's like underneath the scuba the scuba diving place um what else is there uh there's two um in near the river there's one just right here that allows you to just go down here and then get to a dock that has your boat well you have to build the dock first but um yeah so you can blow up this to just go to the river easy peasy instead of having to go to the town and then go all the way up um there's another one that helps you get to the mushroom thing easier you probably saw the or the dynamite duck there um i'm forgetting the others how many have i made? one two three yeah there's one more that i can't remember the name of um but yeah once you get all of those you can like blow up things just to make it easier so yeah the dynamite will blow up the things and then like i said in my second video is that what i want to try is see if you can use that piece of dynamite in the cave and use it like down here or something and then vice versa if you can get a mushroom dynamite and then use it for the treasure map piece so yeah that's all for this video and see you in the next one